And I'm being joined by the head coach of NC Central, Lavelle Moten, as well as student athletes, Dewan Graff and Kyle Benton. Lavelle, if you'd like, you can make an opening statement and we'll open the floor for questions. Um, first and foremost, congratulations to uh, UC Davis, well-coached basketball team and um, really good basketball players. Um, overall, I just thought our mentality to begin the game, uh, it wasn't where we needed it to be, to be um, contenders and, and competitors. You know, we had guys mentally, they just weren't there. And, um, you know, they got in their feelings and emotions a little bit, and they punched us in the mouth. And I think we gathered ourselves, and obviously we made the switch to the one three one and, you know, it caused some turnovers and got us back in. Um, but overall, I just didn't, I thought we didn't shoot the basketball well at all. We shot 35%. That's probably the lowest we've ever shot in my tenure here, um, especially this season. And hats off to them. They played really good defense, but a lot of those looks was just wide open. Uh, we just didn't make them, and we weren't even close on some. You know, we have guys that's capable of knocking down shots. And I thought it messed with their mentality a little bit. At the end, I would have liked for Rashawn Madison to take the three, but he pump faked and, and threw it back. And we missed too many, too many layups. And I told the guys, man, at the beginning of the season, your season is going to come down to one possession. Um, and you got to capitalize when you get that opportunity. And I just thought we missed a couple of layups at the beginning of the second half that really swung the momentum. Um, but hats off to them. They executed down the stretch and won the game. Questions for our student athletes only. Right here in the front left. Well, Dewan, can you kind of talk me through the last possession? Um, you guys had two shots at it right there at the end of the game. Um, uh, we just had, we had some good looks at the rim. We just couldn't knock it down. Uh, I think I should have did a better job of driving the ball when we were down one and I shot a three. Uh, coach was telling me to drive the ball because we was in a bonus. So I think I should have just did a better job of listening to coach and driving the ball and getting something at the rim. Turn the front left again. Kyle, to start the game, um, like coach said, there were some gimmies that was missed. Was it was it nerves or was it the, the uh, atmosphere in the game kind of got you guys a little bit? No, nothing, none of that. Uh, you know, I just missed a couple of chippies. Uh, but you know, it's my fault. You know, I gotta, I gotta make those. Coach tells me all the time, I gotta make those. That's, those are costly. So it wasn't nerves or anything. Front left. Um, looked like there was a lot of inside-out game going. You guys were shooting a lot of deep balls after kicking it deep. Were they collapsing? Was that something you guys saw? You guys were trying to move out of. Kyle, can you answer that first? Uh, I mean. You know, Coach told us to drive, like he said, he told us to drive. And, uh, you know, when we drive, it opens up shots for our shooters. So, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we usually preach on, on getting to the rim and, you know, attacking the basket first before we just start jacking up threes. But um, once we started driving, we just really didn't hit any shots, any threes at least. And, I mean, it kind of cost us. Your front left. In the, in the first and the second half, your defense kind of got you back into the game. Uh, you made a 10-0 run in the first half and a similar run in the second. But was it a situation where you kind of used so much energy to get back into the game, you didn't have anything left in the tank to kind of get over the hump towards the end? Um, I, I don't think we used too much energy. We uh, was usually playing tough defense, but we should have started off the game playing harder defense and not putting ourselves in the hole. Uh, I know we went on a little run, but we should have went on a run earlier instead of having to like fight back and that's really what uses all the energy, trying to fight back and trying to get back in the game like that. Any further questions? Yep, front left. Just despite what happened today, you guys had a, a spectacular season, one regular season and the conference tournament. Just kind of sum up your senior year and what everything was like this year playing for Central. Duan. Um, I just want to thank Coach Lavelle Moten. He just gave us an opportunity this year. You know, start of the season, um, I, I, I just didn't come in in the season with the right mindset. I, I had a meeting with Coach, you know, and he just talked me through it. He told me I would have a great season if I just 
did what I had to do in preseason. I had a great preseason, and it carried over throughout the season. And, and these guys, they trusted in me, and they believed in me, and coach believed in me, and I just tried to lead this team. That's all. Uh, I, I can't be mad at the way the season ended because it was a great season, but we, all, we also wanted to get this win. Kyle? First and foremost, I want to thank uh, Coach Lavelle Moton. You know, uh, coming out of JUCO, I actually signed a week before school started. This is my, my last, my only option. And uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here. So I want to thank him. Uh, also, you know, the senior se my senior season, uh, you know, I can't get mad at how, how things ended. Um, you know, we, we worked hard all season, preseason prepared us for this. And, uh, you know, me and my teammates, we know we had a good season. Any more questions? Dewan and Kyle, thank you for your time. Congratulations on your season. Thank you. Thank you. Questions for Coach Moten. Yep, front left. Um, Coach uh, Aaron, excuse me, Um what Was the pace of the game early uh, kind of what you expected? They, they had that tough defense, but they looked like they were collapsing low. Uh, had you guys prepared for that early on? Yeah, we knew they would um, uh, double team Pat off ball screens. I think the first play Pat was loafing. He wasn't moving as fast. And I stay on the guys, and I told them, when you go to a new level, it requires a new you. <laughs> you know what? What you got away with two weeks ago, you can't get away with now. It's the top 68 teams in the country. And everyone is, is playing um, with the act of a sense of urgency and an act of desperation. And I just thought we didn't come out with the proper pace initially, um, which allowed them to gain some confidence. And normally the first in these games or any of the game in the tournament, the first team to settle down, they say they won't nervous, they were nervous. I can look in your eyes and tell when you're nervous. The first team that settle down is the one that goes on the first run. Yep, front left again. Coach, midway through the, the first half, when you, when you went on that 10-0 run, you had a combination of uh, Ron and, and, and Pablo and your starters. They kind of kind of sparked things. What was it about that group that wanted you to stick with him? And what were they doing that was so effective? Uh, it allowed us to go into our one three one uh, that we, you know, we've had it in all year. We just only used it the last week and a half, and um, you know, pa Pablo, his length, you know, and athleticism allowed him to deflect some basketballs, and we got out and manufactured some points because we was having a difficult time making open shots and making point blank layups. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from them, but. I mean, we're just wide open, and I mean, you've seen those same looks get knocked down all year. And, and unfortunately, this time we, we didn't knock them down. And, um, you know, we knew at the end of the game we didn't have any more timeouts. So we called two plays, one for a man and one for a zone. And, um, you know, Rashawn passed up a shot that I wanted him to take, and, and Graf took one from the top of the key. Um, but we live with that. That kid has carried us all year. Um, and you've seen him make those. I would like for him to drive the basketball, but hindsight is always twenty twenty. So he's done. He's put his heart and soul on the line for myself, his teammates, this program, and this university. So, you know, if I'm going to go down, I'll go down with him. Front left again. Coach, obviously, you want to um, avoid the the 16th seed Dayton, but this is a great atmosphere anyway. And you know those last two games of the regular season, you can forget about those anyway. Um, what was the atmosphere like, just being into the the tournament in, in Dayton? It was it was tremendous. You know the fans and the the energy, and you could feel the tension um, in the air. And uh, I think it's some neutral fans here, probably just Dayton fans who just love basketball. And I think after a while, they just chose a side. And that's what March Madness is about. Um, you know, we, we, we wanted to represent our university well. We wanted to represent our league, the MEAC, um, because we got some really good basketball teams and really good basketball coaches. And oftentimes we go, um, we're overlooked. And, um, but we wanted to represent them. And unfortunately, we came out short, but the environment was incredible. Coach, you, you heard the guys kind of sum up their season. Uh, throughout the year, they, they drew a lot of comparisons to the 2014 team. Sometimes you said it was kind of unfair. Uh, none of the seasons come to an end. Can you kind of sum up this group and how special they were and what they did accomplish? In all honesty, they shocked me. Um, I didn't expect this from this team. Um, 
and, and they, they shocked me. Um, you know, we had some, some misfits, some guys who needed to buy into something that was bigger than themselves, and they had never done that. So we kind of took some chances and uh, rolled the dice out there to see if they could possibly do it. And early on, we all had a great preseason. And the one thing I love about those kids is uh, they love each other. They genuinely love and care for each other. And when you see one, you see at least seven or eight of them. And I think that got us out, out of some critical circumstances early in the year. Um, but you know, they had the bulls out on their back all year, and that's not easy. Night in and night out, you're going out there, and it's almost like you're, you're the Patriots or you're Duke or you're the Yankees. Everybody, you can't, you can't surprise anyone. And going into hostile environments, um, you know, it's difficult now, but we'll look back and certainly reflect and one day smile about it sooner than later. Uh, they are champions. They are regular season champions. They are tournament champions. And, you know, this one hurts. Losing sucks. And the only it's only going to be one team out there that's going to end on a happy note. Um, and that's the unfortunate part about this. But they made a lot of people proud. And they made, a, they made me proud especially. And I think they made our late chancellor proud as well. And that's what we do, wanted to do was just represent our great university. Well, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on your season.